Hi, I got a question from someone in the YouTube comments asking how do you associate a piece by simulation profile to a part? What they're trying to do is avoid having to one use the manufacturer's part, which is Texas Instruments in this case, and two avoid having to modify all their parts. They just want to add a piece by simulation profile. So I'll show you how to add a simulation to a part that you've already drawn so that you don't have to change everything in your schematic. All right, so I have an example here of a part that I drew from scratch based on the data sheet. Looking at the data sheet for this part, the TLC 555s, I copied this exact same pinout and made a part in ORCAD Capture. Now this part cannot be simulated. If I try to run the simulation, click OK. There's a green circle that shows up here because PSpice is ignoring the part. Right, so there's less, two, less than two connections and there's issues. If I hover over here, the part or device cannot be simulated. I don't want to change this part in my schematic. Let's say I have 10 of these. I don't want to change every single one of them. So I will associate it piece by library. Go to Texas Instruments website to download the piece by file or library that describes the part behavior. And that would be under something like anywhere description and parameter parametrics or the tools and software. For this part, it's under tools and software. You would download the module or the model. This is the download here and then it'll get downloaded to a convenient .lib file. Now you'll get a dot, uh, capital .lib file by default from pspice. You need to change this to lowercase lib. For whatever reason, uh, ORCID Capture pspice doesn't like the capitalized lib. All right, now that you've downloaded the library, this is all you need to associate with the part you created. Go back into ORCID Capture click on your part or you can click on multiple instances or copies of the part choose associate piece by model now you, this is where you would select the model library go to browse this is the default models for piece by just gonna go to my circuit projects here okay so this is the dot lib file open that and then you get to see models that may match or may not match I'm gonna check the show symbol here okay now this shows you the model the library model and if you look or open the library file with a text editor you can actually see the text and see that the subcircuit pins are named these, but associating the piece by model, this window allows you to do the association much more easily. So what we're going to do is match the pins on my symbol to the model terminals to find in this piece by file. It's really cool. Now let's associate the model terminals with the pin names on the part. The data sheet shows it. So we have pin one is ground trigger out reset in that order ground trigger out reset so let's select it ground okay now that that's finished choose update selected or update all if you only have one selected well just the ones you selected uh, or, but if you want to update all in your schematic all these parts that you drew custom made all of them would update. I will choose update selected. It will show that the model association was successful. Now all you have to do is run this again. I set my simulation profile in piece by to 26 milliseconds. And there we go. That is the simulation. So just a quick recap. This is how you associate a piece by library file with a part that you drew from scratch or that you got from somewhere. The main benefit of doing this is you don't have to modify 
or update any of the parts in your original schematic. You're just adding simulation functionality to your schematic. And the last benefit is you don't have to use the symbol that comes from the manufacturer. A lot of times these are not that great anyway. I looked into the symbol and it doesn't even have pin numbers. It has names for the pins but not pin numbers which is weird. Alright, that's it and thanks for watching.